What's going on guys, King Trash here back in the video on the channel. Today is Taco Tuesday, even though you'll be seeing this on a Wednesday, I always like to preface with that because my videos are done the day before because I'm eating, so it's a little weird. But anyway, I wasn't gonna make tacos, but then I took myself over to a local Walmart and I found, I didn't even know this was a thing, Takis. The people over at Old El Paso, the goat hard shell taco company, if you ask me, have made Takis taco shells with the fuego. You see the blue or the purple? I said blue. I don't even know. We don't edit. But y'all see it, man. I, I, I just, I saw this. I said, oh, and I had to go and get it. So we made some quick tacos, um, just with some little trimmings, nothing too crazy here. We just got our ground beef seasoned ground beef. I don't have to tell you how to make tacos. You just got to go through the process, but that's easy money. We got the nacho cheese. That's just Tostitos nacho cheese. And I used Chobani Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. Um, just an easier way to get protein and it's lower in fat and I got a giant thing of salsa because I couldn't find a cup small enough for my measurements of salsa but it's only five calories a serving I don't care and Ortega this is like the one thing that y'all see the Christmas tree shop under dollar seventy eight. y'all know how I get down can I even get this off listen it's a uh, it's street taco you see it right here the mojo the chili lime it's so good and before I even get into it look at this right here man I found this right at the checkout section I was right there but look at this Snickers. No, they did not make cinnamon bun Snickers. I love me some cinnamon buns. Don't this up. Snickers, please. I'm begging you. But that'll be the end of the video. The real ones, please. If you could throw the bookmark at the end, anybody doesn't want to see the entire video. I don't blame you. I don't like listening to me either. That'll be towards the end of the video. So we got this line up today. And that is a thumbnail. Let me knock some over. We don't care. Do I have to make a weird face? Nah, we're just going to do that. Look at that. That's a dove. I'm excited for these. I hope these are good. You can tell that I put these in an the oven because anytime you put stand-in stuff in the oven, they do this. And they get the little, see that? The one thing that was disappointing before I even get into this, look, look at the inside. They don't put the dusting on the inside, just the outside. Like, that just seems a little lazy. But hopefully, Taki's flavors are pretty strong, so hopefully that's still good. Ah! Ah! I normally I would edit that out, but we're not gonna today. I always do that because we're trying to open it up and I mess it up, but it's okay, we move. All right, let's 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 build ourselves a taco. Damn, that's the only thing that sucks about hard shell tacos, bro. When you gotta throw them in the oven, a lot of times, unless you got like the little taco thing, but I just, you know, I don't do that stuff. We don't, we're not too fancy around here. So, that's the second one that broke. One of them came pre-broke. Y'all know how the taco companies are, bro. When you get it, it's like a roulette. So look, this, 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 there's 10 in here, so now we have, like, two broken. Uh, we move. We move, we move, we move, we move. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get hyperactive about that. I guess we'll go in with some of this. This is cilantro salsa, by the way. So I like cilantro flavor on my tacos. I love this, this, uh, fresh, it's in the produce section, fresh salsa right here. Nice little pico action. Love to see it. Let's get extra, because you know I don't do none of that shrubbery in my tacos. Where's my other spoon? We just, we don't, like, okay. there's the other spoon. Now we in with the, no. See, the taco messed me up, bro. The taco messed me up. It's okay. I'm eating all that anyway. We're going to eat all this Greek yogurt. The Greek yogurt I usually will season, but I wasn't sure if I was going to put it all on these. So, I didn't. Because if I had to eat cilantro free with Greek yogurt to hit my protein, that would have been a bit of a bro. Bro, I promise you I'm fine. I promise. We don't edit. Everybody else try to make themselves look good. I don't care. We ugly. Yes. We. Please don't break. All right. This is it. Y'all see the Takis dusting right there. Y'all see the Takis dusting right there. This is the excitement. Whoa! See you know what I'm saying? Out here tripping. A little, bit, a, little bit of, a little bit of the green. There you go. All right. Now let's dance. There we go. Now, now we made it complete. Look at that. Oh, the drool. Okay. Please be good. We got ourselves a W. Mm. 
Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You know, tacky's just get all over you. I'm just gonna bite this one just to show y'all how, how we get down. But. I'm not a biggest fan of Takis, and truthfully, it has nothing to do with the flavor of the chip. Takis kind of have that, like, flaming hot limon. You gotta be OG for that one. But that limon, the limon, in there. And I like the flavor of Takis, but sometimes they're too strong. And I don't like the rolled aspect of the Takis, so I'm just like, I'd rather have a flaming hot Dorito. But these, the flavor is just the lime. And that, that, that flaming hot kind of vibe, like, yeah, injected. That, that is a W, 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 W taco. Wow. We just going to fly through these because, whew, I'm missing half the damn taco shell. It's because these damn things is, I don't want to open it now. Done ruin it first taco. What was the order I did this in? All right, hold on. Hold on, I gotta wipe this. Nobody eats this me, I live by myself. So, double dipping is not an option when you live by yourself. It's fine. Nobody else touches my damn salsa. I'm a big fan of salsa, by the way. Um, when I make egg whites, when I cap off my macros at the end, um, when I eat anything that's kind of like blah, because a lot of the stuff I eat off camera is, is kind of blah, um, I use salsa as like my number one condiment, even before I'll use things like ketchup or barbecue sauce because five calories per tablespoon, you don't need much, and it's just a mm with the mm, you know? That is so good. Mm, I wish I could come in here and try this. If you find these, I find these at Walmart. Just like, yes. Just yes. Mmm. I really like these. This might be recency bias. We're all guilty of it, but. I might prefer that to the Doritos Locos, like the flaming Hot variation. Mm. Just the, the Lemon. Oh, the Lemon. Lemon. Y'all not. Familiar with that. <laughs> Let me tell you the Lamon story. Lamon! I wasn't doing YouTube very often back then. I was more just doing Instagram, but every once in a while I would do like some sporadic YouTube stuff. Um, that's kind of how this channel came to be. I just had a little bit of YouTube action, but it wasn't like my main focus. I would just do it like on occasion. And one of the things that I did one day was I reviewed. I forget exactly what the review was, if I'm being real, but I reviewed uh, something, but I also reviewed Doritos dropped, this is a while ago, they did a flaming Hot Limon, Limon, and um, I don't know, it, it just made me think of Michael Jackson, and it somehow Limon turned in, Limon, that's all it is, for people who don't know, Limon, but that's what I taste right now, mm. I feel like like singing like you know. Y'all know it. It's a legend. Hmm. That's so good. You better be Taco Bell, bro. Not long shot. And I say this every time I get these, but I love a traditional taco. Meaning, like corn tortilla. I'm an al pastor guy myself. You know, the beauty eye, all that. But if you're asking me between hard and soft, and when I say soft, I'm talking about flour, not corn. Hard shell, all day. And I get it, like I'm with you, I understand you, I get where you're coming from, but to me, motherfucker, I'm about to just eat these with my hands, bro, I swear to God, I'm getting annoyed now. It's 
why I'm, I, you're supposed to put these in the oven, I know, because they don't taste the same, but that's the same, it's getting annoying as hell, man. Anyway, but if you're asking me between those two, flour tortilla and the hard shell, hard shell taco, which is a corn tortilla, obviously it's fried. I'm taking the, 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 the hard shell every day. I don't get why people prefer flour tortillas. Flour tortillas suck. They don't suck. That's cap. Like, there's just not this. For me, flour tortillas belong with burritos. If it ain't a burrito, I don't want it. Soft shell, it's not the same. Hard shell is like a nacho pocket, nacho envelope, if you will. It's just a thousand times better. You get the crunch, you get the flavor. It's just so many W's to me. Don't come at me with old oh, corn tortilla. I said it's out of the, it's not the contest between them. But if you go to Taco Bell, which Taco Bell is kind of mid, but you know what I'm saying. Like that kind of drink, when you're making tacos at home, and you get flour tortillas, like, why? Explain it to me, you know what I'm saying? Friendly debates. I don't some of y'all, oh, you tripping. All right, why is a flour tortilla that bland ass? You can't do this on a flour tortilla, man. Come on now, come on, come on, let's, let's keep it buck. Like, come on. Yeah, they break. But it's like a nacho envelope. It's a gift. And I know somebody's already typing furiously and they're saying something like, that's not a real taco. Just let me eat my tacos, gringos, and shh. All right. I get it. It's always that one person that got to spoil the party for everybody. Oh, you need to try it. No. Okay. This. I am not Mexican. I did not grow up eating authentic tacos. I'm not going to lie about that. Okay. I'm, I'm not. I don't have. That's when, when we had tacos in my house, we had. Soft shell tacos, because my mom doesn't like hard shell tacos. <laughs> but I want it hard, okay? Pause. Um, but I, I wanted a hard shell, but she ain't want it. You know, if you grew up in a house like mine, if your mom liked something, that's what you had. She made it, she shut up, and she said, you don't pay rent. That's the black mom come back for everything. You don't pay these bills. When you pay these bills, you can tell me what you want to order, etc., etc. Now, I said, okay, because she smacked shit out of me if I didn't, but still. But this is where it's at. Look at the flip. I know this is not the regular, but you can't do this with a purple. You don't see flour tortillas like this. Mm. Excuse it on my face. I'm sorry. Did I get it? No. That's my lip ring. It's not a speck. There's always that one person, though. I know somebody gonna say something. Where it said, that's not real this or that, you know? Listen. I get it. I feel you. But you gotta let people enjoy the stuff they like without like being like, that's not real. It might not be. Sometimes I don't want real. I eat fake sugar every day. Right? Stevia. On a daily basis. I know it's not real sugar. I know it don't taste the same. But at the same time, I enjoy it, right? I don't gate people, gatekeep people when they make whack versions of macaroni and cheese. In my head, I do. Of course I do. But I let them enjoy it. Y'all seen some bad, I've had bad mac and cheese on these videos, right? And I say mac and cheese because, you know, as a member of the black delegation, let's keep it stacked. We do mac and cheese. It's a culture. It's like what we do. Like mac and cheese is at every, every giant function that we have from Thanksgiving, um, to, to, to whatever kind of meal that you have. Thanksgiving, Easter, somebody graduated, some damn mac and cheese there. Christmas, mac and cheese there. Mom feel like making dinner. Mac and cheese is there, and it is a side dish. It is not, not, a, not, a, not, a, not a main attraction. It's a side dish, but it is a star. And you judge any cook in a black delegation. Based off their mac and cheese. It's very important. I'm being real. 
If you go to somebody's house and the mac and cheese is terrible, you ain't gonna wanna go there no more. At least I don't. I got some family members, but I'm telling you, I keep it if I keep it a stack, man. Okay? Make some terrible mac and cheese, bro. Only my immediate family make good mac and cheese in my family. I don't know what it is about my family. But my mom's mac and cheese, prime. W. Even my relatives eat my mama's mac and cheese. Okay? They don't want my auntie mac and cheese. You don't want my auntie mac and cheese. Mm. You don't want that. Nah. It's um it's Cajun. My sister mac and cheese. Fire. Super fire. Stop mac and cheese. Right? But that's what you judge now. You know? I don't know what y'all do on Thanksgiving. But I don't want that dry ass turkey. And don't tell me if you didn't know. Turkey sucks. I said what I said. Turkey sucks. Sucks. The only time turkey is good is if you make a sandwich with it. Eating turkey breast. Yes, I am. On the side. Sucks. It's whack. It's mid. It's not good. When you deep fry it, oh, it locks it. It's still dry, bro. Have you ever had chicken thighs, okay? Somebody write in the comment, who likes turkey? Like, really? When you go to your family holiday, or whoever, because turkey's like a Thanksgiving thing. You look, you like, oh, hell, y'all get some turkey. Who says that? Out yourself in the comment section, please. Tell me that I'm wrong. You're wrong. I ain't wrong. You wrong. Yep. I don't know what the hell you was thinking. Mm. Don't mind want that. If you go look at my plate on holidays, here's what you gonna see. Half of it's gonna be mac and cheese. Half. At least two thirds of the plate will be mac and cheese. Depends on who made it. My mom and my sister, you can bet it's gonna be half. Another two thirds of the plate will be a combination of collard greens, potato salad, and yams. Big helpings. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to jam the cornbread as far as I can, as many pieces as I can, until I put a little sliver of turkey. Right? I'm not a ham guy either. I, I, I prefer neither. Um, I'm not really a big ham guy. You know, people like the Christmas ham, and I don't want all that shit. I don't want ham. Ham is whack, too. I said it. Ham also sucks. Okay? Ham... And I know somebody gonna tell me their recipe in ham is great. They use root beer or Coca-Cola or, or cherry Coke or they glaze it with something. It still sucks, okay? Because have you ever had chicken thighs? I come back to the same thing, okay? Somebody needs to start making Christmas chicken thighs. Y'all gonna sit here, especially my members of Black Delegation. All right, I'm talking to y'all especially because y'all y'all eat the same shit I do. Y'all really gonna sit here? With your mouth and tell me that turkey is better than smothered chicken. With a straight face, you're gonna tell me, mm -mm, I don't want smothered chicken. I want this turkey. And that includes the, the wing. Turkey wings suck, bro. They're not good, bro. They're dry. Chicken wings are better. Stop. I don't know why people are crazy getting these goddamn. Uh, oop. Did I say that all out? It's cool. I don't know why crazy people are crazy getting these these turkeys. They don't even eat it. Be buying thirty-two pound birds. The birds look like they was working on on the Schwarzenegger. And you don't want that. 
And why are we lying? You don't really want it. You just eat it because you have to. It's like a courtesy. And I've had turkey at so many damn people's houses in my life. I've had deep fried turkey. I've had pecan glazed turkey. I've had Popeyes. Popeyes makes turkey. Popeyes turkey. And like I got lipstick on these. Cool. I've had it all. It's all me. Let's see here. Well, why can't we have Christmas fried chicken? Why can't I have fried chicken on, on, on Thanksgiving? I want this damn turkey. Who says you gotta go with tradition anyway? We don't even eat the same stuff, right? That's why I like like my, 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 my Dominican people and I go to their Thanksgiving because they got pernil. Like, I'll do pernil all day, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, Portuguese people got the presunto and the pork, the presunto. You know what I'm talking about? The presunto. We still serving this dry ass turkey. Huh? That turkey broke the shit on my face. Y'all don't lie. Y'all, yeah, but cornbread is where it's at. But the, the biggest judge is mac and cheese. But I do love me some cornbread. You ever have bad cornbread? I don't even know how you could mess up cornbread. But I've had bad cornbread. Like some lousy cornbread. Some of the worst cornbread I ever had. There was a place that closed down though. Um, damn, I really need to use all this too. It's a dub. All my protein. About to be swole. There was a place, there was a pancake house. Um, one too far from my house. I used to have, you go there for pancakes, obviously. Big pancakes, size of manhole covers. I'm not joking. You know manhole thing covered the sewers? I don't know where you're from. You might be from a place that got manholes. I don't know, maybe from like the woods or something, whatever. But size of manhole covers, really big. Right? But similar to like Red Lobster or like Cheesecake Factory, they will bring out this cornbread with chocolate chips in it. The lousiest cornbread you'll eat. Yeah. Now the owners of that, I think he actually sadly is no longer with us, but um, the people back there, they wouldn't. I don't know where they was from. They weren't from anywhere else from them. Very dry. Very dry. Like, see, they put butter, they give you butter on the side. You know you're supposed to put the butter on the top when it gets hot and it soaks in the... Mm. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't be looking around. They didn't do that. And you got these chocolate chips that just feel like they don't belong in cornbread. I love chocolate chips. Not really in cornbread, though. They're so good. And taco shells. Like, we. Y'all gotta get these. I'm even gonna take this little funny part that broke. You're gonna use it like they do at the fancy restaurants when they scoop up all the crumbs you drop because you don't know how to eat at fancy restaurants just like me. I don't know how to eat there either. Let's go. Cool. You know, scoop it up. That's okay. I'm focused. Get right in here. No, no joke. These taco shells are might be my favorite. Like I like them that much. Just so much flavor. Sting the hell out of your mouth, but so much flavor. All right, it's time to get into this cinnamon bun. I'm just gonna wipe this off real quick and we wanna just have this snicker. Yes, sir, let's do it. Cinnamon bun Snickers, I love Snickers. Probably my favorite candy bar, not including Reese's, but I'm including just like OG candy bars, Milky Way and all that stuff. Huge fan. When I saw these in the end cap, now, you know the checkout joint, the self-checkout? It was sitting right next to it. It's a big thing. It said, you know, cinnamon bun. I said, oh, okay, oh, okay. We have to fit this in 200 calories for this little ass bar, but I love me a cinnamon bun. Probably like you know like the, the Cinnabons of the mall, you know, old days, man. Like, I don't even know what to say about this other than god damn it's small. That's what she said. Anywho, y'all already know. I guess I no now we just gonna bite this. Hmm. There it is. I was about to get mad. I was about to get mad. Y'all don't even know. I was ready to be like and throw this thing. The cinnamon bun flavor is in the nougat. So, y'all know how Snicker bars work. It's uh, right on the bottom here. That, that's where you see it, you, you taste it. Like I'm getting a cinnamon bun, and it's good. 
There's something missing though. There's something that's not like driving me crazy. Like I like it. I don't love it. I like like it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not hype though. I'm not hype. You're definitely getting. It's like a cinnamon flavored Snickers. You know, but I need like an icing factor, and the chocolate cinnamon bun kind of works. But I need like that. Like, you ever have a cinnamon bun with no icing? You don't want that. I don't want this. Damn. <laughs> That was a letdown, bro. Um, it's okay. It's decent. I still prefer just the regular stickers. Um, the the cinnamon flavored nougat works, but it doesn't like capture that essence. I'm thinking more cinnamon, and this is more like somebody that can't really cook made a cinnamon roll, like Pillsbury with no icing. Yeah, a little bit of a letdown. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to get it. I wanted to like this so bad. You have no idea. I'm so like perturbed. Oh, big word. Yeah. I'm not wasting my calories, bro. 200 calories. I ate 100. That's it. I'm, I'm going to have me something else. <laughs> Y'all know, man. I don't waste calories. So if I didn't finish it, I wouldn't buy it. That is my recommendation. But that right there, my friend, is going to be the end of the video. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be back out of the kitchen. I got to get out and try some more of these things. But we will be back. Man, I love your faces. <laughs> more content. I love Yada Hand Science. They made it to YouTube.